Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be dyeing my hair. It's been a while since I've dyed my hair. In fact, I can't remember the last time it was that I dyed it. I know it was on here, so I'll have to like look back. But I figured it's time. You guys can see that my roots are definitely coming in. And I need to have it done. I was like thinking of letting it grow out a little bit more. Like as far as like the root color. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm not one who likes my natural hair color. My natural hair color is kind of like a dirty blonde, like a dirty ashy blonde. So, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. So, I think today we're going to go lighter. I picked up some hair dye yesterday. So, I figured what a better day to do it than on a Saturday morning. So, my hair right now is unwashed. I knew last night that I was going to be dyeing my hair today. So, I have yet to wash my hair this morning. So for the hair color today, I'm going to be using Garnier Nutrice number 111 Extra Light Ash Blonde. So that looks like at the top and on the side. I have used this color before. It's been a couple years since I've had it, so I've kind of forgotten what the color was like that it used to give me. But I knew that I wanted to go like an ash blonde color. I love ash blonde colors. They're my favorite, so I figured that's what I'd go with. I picked this up at Walmart. It sold for... $6.97, but it had a $2 off coupon on it, $4.97, not bad. So I'm just going to take a brush like this and gently run it through. I don't really want it to be too harsh, you know, because I don't want to scratch my scalp. But I just want to make sure that all of the snarls and tangles and whatever are worked out of my hair. So pretty much everybody here already knows how to dye their own hair. So I'm just going to put this on a little bit of a fast forward, add some music for you guys, and you guys can just basically watch me dye my hair. So here we go. Alright, so I just finished up with my hair. I just dried it. So you guys will see, like, in the video that I did tone it right after I finished washing up dye. I just like to do that after I do, like, an ash blonde or something, just to make sure that my hair color does come out correct. So definitely, if you do this color, or any, like, ash blonde color, definitely do a toner after you dye it, so that way you get the true ash blonde color. So here's what it looks like. I really like how it came out. It will change just a little bit. It will get to be like a more truer blonde in a few washes. It always does look a little bit more ashy after I do the toner. But so here is my hair after. I really like how it turned out. It looks really pretty. I'm quite excited with this. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.